Welcome to Apex Philosophy, the perfect place to find motivation. Be sure to subscribe and listen every day so you can become your best self. Please like and share the video to help inspire others. The qualities that make success. I used to be poor and ignorant. Over the years I began to study the subject of success. I had one simple idea that came upon me in my late teens, and I think it was the most important idea that I've ever had. If you study successful people and you do what they do you'll be more successful, and if you study unsuccessful people and you avoid doing what they do then you will not be a failure. What I want to talk to you about tonight is some of the principles that Brian Tracy discovered after over 20 years of research. He studied successful men and women, and read biographies and autobiographies. He looked at the characteristics and principles of them. He studied philosophy and economics and religion and psychology and metaphysics, and came up with 10 key qualities that all successful people have. This isn't an exclusive list, but you will find that by acquiring each of these 10 qualities, you will find yourself on the path to success. The first principle is clarity. Clarity of thinking means the ability to determine exactly what that you want to have or do in life. Every successful person is very clear about where they're going and what they want to accomplish. If you look at unsuccessful and aimless people, you'll find that almost invariably they have a very limited sense of direction sometimes no sense of direction at all. As they say, if you don't know where you're going, and if you do not have clear and specific goals for your life, you are doomed to work for people who do. And yet only 5% of people have goals. So the key starting point with regard to clarity is to know where you're going and what you want to do. You must also have a clear vision for yourself and for your life. The key to having a vision is to have a dream. You can make all your dreams come true. All the great movers and shakers throughout all of history have been dreamers. They've been people with visions. All leaders have vision. In the Book of Solomon, it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. And the metaphorical meaning of that is that where people lack vision, they perish inside because they lose the excitement and the thrill of life. You can predict the future by creating it. The second key quality is decisiveness. I've never met a successful person who was indecisive, and I've never met a failure who is decisive. Be decisive. Develop the characteristic and quality of decisiveness. We are indecisive because we're afraid of making a mistake, but the terrible thing is that the way that we think becomes a habit, and the habit of indecisiveness can condemn you to failure. You can be talented, intelligent, and ambitious, but if you cannot make the hard decisions in your life, and if you cannot make decisions quickly, then you will always have to work for people who can make decisions quickly. The interesting thing about decisions is that about 80% of decisions should be made as soon as they come up. And if you make decisions every single time they come up, sooner or later, you will develop the habit of decisiveness. You should already be very clear about what you want, and it's easy to make decisions if you know what you want to accomplish. The difference between successes and failures is not that successful people make right decisions, it's that successful people make their decisions quickly. Expertise. Every single successful person had become so after becoming excellent in a specific field. If you search your entire life, I guarantee you will not find a single successful person who is not excellent at what they do. They are all experts. The commitment to becoming excellent in your chosen field is an indispensable prerequisite for success. If you are not good at what you do, you haven't got a chance in our competitive society. Only the top 5% are excellent. You must commit yourself to excellence. You must commit yourself to becoming the best. The wonderful thing is that excellence is a journey, it's not a destination. Complacency and satisfaction are the enemies of excellence, but once you commit yourself to becoming excellent, the whole world opens up for you. Do your best every time and always strive to do it better. Excellence yields opportunities because when you become good people start to notice. And as you get better, more people notice and then start to seek you out. Opportunity gives us self-esteem and pride. We feel like a winner despite doing things in an average way. You don't need to be the best around, 
you just need to be more committed than the person next to you. You can achieve this simply by setting goals and working towards them. The harder you work, the better you get. The average self-made millionaire in America works 12 to 13 hours a day. That's 60 to 65 hours a week. I'll tell you this with regard to hard work, that in our society you only work eight hours a day for survival everything over eight hours is for success. And if you're only working eight hours a day, you're in trouble. This is a competitive world. Somebody working nine hours has got an edge on somebody working eight. Every hour over eight that you invest is an investment in your future, an investment in your success. And if you put in the hours over eight, whether it's studying or reading or working, if you put in the hours, it will pay off. It's like throwing seeds in the ground. When you throw a seed in the ground, the plant that comes up is not just one seed, it's hundreds of seeds. There's a crop that you want to harvest, but you must put the seed in the ground first. The next quality is focus. The ability to focus and concentrate are the two keys to success in life. In life, there's never enough time to do everything, but there's always enough time to do the important things. Unsuccessful people focus too much on the easy things. Successful people do the important stuff first. Unsuccessful people spend their time consuming. Successful people spend their time creating value. Spend your time entertaining yourself either with television, video games, traveling, clubbing, or even non-fiction books, and you will never find success. Spend your time doing hard things, improving yourself and providing value to the world, and you will be rewarded. Time management is life management. You can do anything you want with your life if you manage your time properly. We all have the same 24 hours a day and the ability to concentrate, to discipline yourself, to use willpower and perseverance to focus on one thing at a time is a quality of success. Nothing great has ever been accomplished without the ability to concentrate single-mindedly on one thing at a time. You also need to develop a sense of urgency. Work faster, utilize your time. People value someone who is motivated and works effectively and efficiently over someone who is slow and lazy. The next quality is common sense. Train your mind to have common sense. Think things through before acting. Action without thinking is the cause of every failure. Common sense comes from taking the time to think things through before you act. Listen to your intuition. It is one of the best guides that you could possibly have. Learn from your setbacks. Successful people have this characteristic. Every single time they have a problem, they sit back and they dissect it. They learn everything possible from it. They try to develop general principles from each setback. They say, what is the valuable lesson I can learn? Take a look at everything that has happened to you. Take a look at the most difficult experience that you are in right now and ask yourself, what is the most valuable lesson I can learn from this experience? Believe me, if you look for the lesson, you will find one. In the Bible it says, seek and ye shall find. It doesn't say seek and occasionally you might find something. If you look for the valuable lesson, you will find it. The sixth quality is creativity. Tap into your creative potential. Successful people question the world and think outside of the box. I find that the smartest people are the ones that have the greatest education and the most experience. They ask the most questions. They are curious like children. They're very open and flexible, and they have the ability, once they learn a new piece of information, to drop what they're doing if the new information contradicts it, and to do something else. Most people keep on doing what they're doing until they run into a wall. 80% of everything that we are doing today in our general business will be different five years from now. 80% of the products that we use, the food that we eat, the cars we drive, the media we consume, even the streets we drive on, 80% of everything will be new in five years. That's how rapidly things are changing. How do you stand out? By creating something new, by offering something better than your competitors. Look at supply and demand and see what people need and how can you fulfill that need. Next quality is networking. Networking is based on the fact that the quality of your relationships with other people, more than anything else, will determine your success in life. We are happiest when we interact with people. You become successful when you work with other people. You need people skills. 
Take courses in communication, public speaking, listening. Learn to get along well with others. Your ability to express yourself and get your point across to others will have a tremendous impact on your life because you cannot imagine a successful person who cannot communicate effectively with other people. Quality eight is consistency. No one is successful without consistency. Consistency means that dependable, steady, predictable work is always vastly superior to spurts or flashes of brilliance and genius. You have to show up consistently every day and put in the work. Every single great accomplishment in life is a result of thousands of minor accomplishments that nobody ever sees, but every single great success was at one time a series of failures. All great successes are a story of failure. Successful people consistently go out and test themselves, fail, and learn a lesson. It is the consistency that makes this so powerful. These failures, a.k.a. lessons, start to add up over time. They fail less and less, which is what makes them successful. The next quality is commitment. The ability or the willingness to make a complete commitment to a job, a relationship, a profession, etc. is one of the hardest things that human beings do, and yet no success is possible without commitment. Emerson said that every great achievement is the triumph of enthusiasm, that the ability to commit yourself enthusiastically, wholeheartedly, 100% to what you want to do is the starting point of all achievements. If you cannot commit yourself wholeheartedly, it probably means that it's not right for you. Dr. Shirelli Blotnick's study of self-made millionaires stated that 83 out of 1,500 people became self-made millionaires over 20 years. All of the millionaires chose work that they loved. They specialized in that work and became very good at it and began getting paid very well for it. The only way to reach that level is to commit to it and consistently show up every day. Courage is an outstanding quality of all leaders. Courage means that you have the ability and willingness to confront your fears. Brave people, courageous people are not people who are not afraid. They're simply people who master their fears. They're simply people who confront their fears. Mark Twain said, do the thing you fear and the death of fear is certain. People give in to the fear and back away. Don't let it become a habit to back away. Whenever you're afraid, Force yourself to confront the fear and turn that into a habit. Dare to go forward in your life and in the direction of fulfilling your potential. It's like in martial arts. When you fight, always move forward even if you're only moving forward, half an inch at a time, just always move forward. When you're moving forward, 100% of your attention is forward, but if you're moving backward even half an inch at a time, half of your attention is always behind you and where you're going, so always move forward. Dare to go forward, because you won't necessarily succeed every time, but it cements the habit of moving forward and most people, when they have a choice of moving forward or playing it safe, play it safe. But I think General Douglas MacArthur said, there's no security in life, only opportunity. Life is very perverse in a way because the more we seek security, the less we have it, and the more we seek opportunity, the more we have security. The fear of failure is the greatest single reason for failure. The fear of failure is a habit which can be counteracted by the habit of courage. The best quality in the world that you can develop is the belief of being unstoppable. Say to yourself that no matter what life throws at you, it'll never stop you. You will never give up because then no matter what life throws at you, you pick yourself up and you say, okay, bring it on. It's an unbeatable feeling. Today, we have a bonus quality for you, confidence. The last quality is confidence. You don't get confidence out of a bottle. You only get confidence by doing certain things over and over again. Build a solid foundation within your own mind that you can do whatever you need to do that you have what it takes to be successful. Self-doubt is the great paralyzer of all activity. The key here is to have faith in your ability to adapt and overcome any obstacle. You need to push forward, push back doubt, and know you have the ability to overcome anything. That is an incredible thing. Be confident and you can take on the world. Thank you for listening. Comment below, which quality do you need to develop the most? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and we'll see you next time.